my colleague, Congressman Deutsch, and also to our colleagues from the Senate. I'm Donna Edwards. I represent Maryland's 4th Congressional District. And I was just thinking as I was looking at this room of uh, advocates from all around the country, I began my career 20 years ago at Public Citizen working on campaign finance reform. Uh, it's only <laughs> and completely circumscri circumscribed by uh, the Buckley v. Vallejo decision that uh, Senator Schumer spoke about. Uh, we could not have imagined a world 20 years ago where today uh, we're faced with a horrific decision by the United States Supreme Court in Citizens United that completely upends everything that we know about the people's role and the people's voice in our democracy. And we can't allow it to stand. Uh, two years ago when uh, the Citizens United decision was announced, uh, Chairman Conyers and I joined together in introducing a constitutional amendment um, one week after the decision. Um, I think that we are a long way from that point here, but what we see is all across our, um, uh, uh, the House and the Senate, a number of us coming together with uh, various different ideas about how we need to amend the Constitution uh, to respond to an environment in which corporate money, in which individual wealth is dominating our politics. It's only this election cycle that we're able to see the millions and millions and millions of dollars, hundreds of millions of dollars that will be spent in this election cycle that will upend uh, our, our campaign finance system, upend our elections. And people are feeling increasingly at a distance from their participation in the process because the money has become so overwhelming. And so the question is not whether we should amend the Constitution, 72% of the American people, 78% of the American people in some polls agree that we should amend the Constitution to respond to this uh, crisis. The question is whether we will have the leadership in the House of Representatives, in the United States Senate, to reflect the will of the American people to return elections back to people. And we can do that. And we can do it by the power of the advocacy that's demonstrated right here in this room. And so the fact that uh, John Conyers and I have one constitutional amendment that some have signed on, that, uh, that Ted Deutsch and Bernie Sanders and others have other uh, ideas is not a bad thing. In fact, it's a good thing because I will be pleased and proud to join in signing a declaration for democracy that all of us can sign on to with the idea that we need to debate this, get it out of the way, restore elections to the American people, return elections and the voice of the American people back into our elections process. And if there's anybody out there who's wondering why it is that people aren't participating in elections at the rate uh, that they should be, why it is that people have a distance between themselves and their elected officials, you have no further to look than the damage that's been done by the Supreme Court in deciding Citizens United that took all of the money out of our, 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 our system and put it in the hands of a handful of people who are going to determine our elections. It's time that we take it back. Thank you very much. I'm Congressman John Conyers, the former chair of the 